Good morning, everyone. Today is August 16th already. That means we have 15 more days left of celebration. And the month is just flying past. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. And it's a beautiful August sunny day here in Montana. I'm going to check and see. Oh, Hey Munch up in Northern Montana. Good to see you this morning. Now I'm gonna just check on my uh, iPad. I almost forgot, just two minutes ago I remembered my iPad and it was in the bathroom charging and uh, I went to get it and uh, I just, oh there's Kathy. Good to see you this morning, Kathy. See that you girls have found us. And if you would please, uh, you know, thumbs up, hearts, comment where you're from, where you live. And just let us know. That helps Facebook let uh, let other people know that we are watching. So, or I don't know. It's the analytic part, and I don't, do not understand that. But your responses help. So, please let us know that you're there. And um, I'm doing well. I've got my hand bandaged. Uh, I had my carpal tunnel surgery last Thursday. I'm doing really well. And um, so, I have to keep it dry and bandage for a little bit. And then next week, Monday, I get my stitches taken out, get my hand wet again. So it's been a little tricky with my, the tricky part is my hair because I've, you know, you can't wash it. You have to go into the shower with a bag over a plastic bag and rubber banded. Um, but it's a, it's not too hard. Um, but the hair part, so I had to go to the beauty shop and get my hair washed and blown dry. That, that was fun though. Um, but it was hard to find it, get an appointment. Okay, we have celebration, 15 days left. Oh my goodness, now there are a couple things that are out and that's the, the tree lot dies and the you note know, cards. But they, Stamping Up added new things and uh, I'll tell you what, I love these. I love the dies, I love the birch, the aspen dies. The uh, daffodil ones are great. The flowering, uh, flowers of home, I use that one all the time, or have used it all the time. But the um, the one that I like a lot is the dots and polka dots. Do you see all that? I just die cut that. I made uh, like four cards in very little time. Uh, here's another one. Just love that one. That is free with a hundred dollar order. So that's a good one. Don't don't pass those up. They're like thirty five dollar dies or thirty six. So that is on the sheet. We also have designer paper, I mean, foil paper, silver gold. Um, we have embossing folders, great ones. Uh, the seashells, the gingham, the timber. Those are all really neat things. So we are today we're going to be working out of the, the uh, mini catalog. And we're going to be using several sets. So we will um, get that out of the way, move that out of the way here pull my things in a little closer and turn the camera down. So let's see who else is watching us. Let's turn the, close your eyes for a second. There we go. And whoops, my tripod, my tripod just sank into the stand here. Here we go. Tighten that up a little bit. One thing I can't, can't do very, I can't unscrew things that are tight. I never could before either way. <laughs> Very well, but now I can't at all. Um, so let's see ones here. These are some cards just to help get us focused and in the camera. Let me move this up a little bit. There we go. Last week we did the wreaths. This is another card using that fall. You are a blessing. It's a nice set. And um, this is that the polka dot die. So today we have, oh my goodness, I love this. I learned this technique from Linda Heller. She lives in North Carolina and I like, I've, I have followed her for years. She's one of the first people I met on an incentive trip and she and her husband were so nice. And this is a method where we're gonna split the paper and then we're gonna have a diagonal and it's really not hard. It just looks hard. These cards I made within probably three, three of these, all the same harvest paper, and I made these probably, um, I did all this, I prepped all this before my surgery, the day before my surgery, so I would have it ready for today, 
because I wasn't sure how much I could do. Um, but anyway, they're easy and they're fun and they don't take too much paper. So we're going to do these today and we're going to start with the first one. It's going to be this one. Um, let me get that in the camera, in the frame. There we go. And I'm going to show you how to do this. We're using the ribbon. This is part of a pack that um, it has uh, see, um, soft, not soft suede, the sand color. I um, can't think of it, but it's a two pack. So this is olive and that comes in that. So we're going to bring our things out and we're going to use a little bit of washi tape on this. And this is how it is done. I'm going to show you that and I'm going to put this up a little bit. Okay, so the first thing, oh, I don't think I wrote on this. I'll just do it right now. Um, you need a four by four inch designer paper. You need two of those and that's pretty much what you need. It's really easy. So I've taken two that coordinate, these two. And this is from the Rustic Harvest. This is a beautiful Cajun. It's all black and white on one side, and that's the olive. Look at that one with the gourds. Crushed curry, we're going to use this one too. They're just as pretty as can be. And you can color the black and white side. Harvest, Rustic Harvest. And I don't know what page that's on. It's in the mini catalog. I have it marked. But anyway, we're going to take two of these. Looks like I cut three. And now we're going to take our paper trimmer. So we're going to take our paper trimmer. I'm going to put him, I'm teaching our grandson how to cut paper. And he, it's so, always so important to, you know, get it nice and straight like that. I'm going to put it in a diagonal like this. And we're not going to cut it from point to point because that gives you a little bit. We're going to take it a little bit offset. Do you see that number one up there? I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Hey, Martina, good to see you this morning. Let's see who else we have here. Um, Jan, Martina, Kathy. Okay, good. We've got a few people watching. So we're going to look at the number one right there. And down here we have a number one. I'm putting both points on the one. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut it diagonally. I'm going to put the, so I'm going to cut both pieces at the same time, like that. Take my trimmer out of the way. I'm going to just set those right there. And now we're going to just flip, we're going to use, we're going to put one right there. We're going to make one card like that and one like that. And we're, we need a couple things here. Looks like I forgot to write on all of these. I don't know. I should have done that, but I didn't. Um, here's my basic white. It's a thick. I always use thick for my my bases. And this is five and a half by eight and a half score down the middle. It's just a regular side folding. But the key, I think, is to take um, a, a mat. This one is four by five and a fourth, the standard mat. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll just do one of these. We're going to take this and put it up here. We're going to take this one and go down there like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit there so you can see that. And let's do that now. We, The fun thing is you can make two cards with just pretty much um, two cuts, two coordinating pieces. So we're going to put this one on first, the bottom one. I'm going to turn it over. Put a little, and you know, the first time you make this, you might want to use your Tombow, your your glue that is um, liquid because you have a little bit more wiggle room. I like to use my tape runner just because it's faster. Now I'm going to turn the other piece over and do the same thing. Trying to be as careful as possible. You want to line it up. See, with the Tombow, it would just slide, but now this is touching. I'm going to hold it with both hands, I think, like that. That helps a little bit. Okay, there we have it. Nice and 
nice and straight like that. I can see my camera is, my tripod is sort of, there we go. Okay, and then we have a piece of designer paper. This one is one inch, one inch by about six, because we're gonna trim it off. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it right on there. See how easy this is? You could get, you could get some designer paper, cut it to four by four, and you can follow along and do some of these too. Um, they're easy. I like to leave a little bit of, of a border like that. And now we're gonna just trim that off. I always like to trim from the back. Take your little snips or your scissors and just trim it like that. And there we have it. And now we're gonna add a little bit more to it. On, um, so you can, uh, like on this one, I, I stamped on it. You are such a blessing. That is from the Sweet, the Hello Harvest stamp set is this one that we're using. Um, there's wishing you the loveliest day. You are a blessing. Hello, nice pumpkin to color, nice uh, swag of flowers, a beautiful leaf. You are missed. Um, you are missed is what I used on this one. But you know, I don't know. I don't know how many cards I would send that say you are missed. Um, anyway, nice set of dies. We're going to use those two. But on this one, we're I think we're going to use a, uh, a happy birthday. I have. Um, we have a stamp set, um, lovely and lasting. It has a really nice birthday in it. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to stamp on that one. So we are going to make a little tag. And these tags are from, aren't they cute? They're just beautiful little tags. They are from a set of dies. Uh, let me see. I've got them in here someplace. Um, this is the stamp that we're using, lovely and lasting. And I have that set of dies right here. They, uh, oh, here they are. They're called designer tags. Designer tag dies. They're beautiful. They're, and this is the one I used. This one has slots for ribbon, beautiful flowers. It's a nice, very nice set of dies. Um, and that's a standalone set. So this is a, a little, this is a little, uh, photopolymer set. So we're going to, I'm actually going to stamp both of these. Looks like there's a little chunk out of that. And, um, uh, I am going to stamp that with the Cajun Craze. We're going to use Cajun Craze because that's just what I happen to have in front of me. So we're going to stamp that up with Happy Birthday. Put it right up here. We'll just do this one also. I didn't check to see. That looks like it could be re-inked a little bit. You know, anytime I, I like to... Um, I always try to sell re-inkers along with the ink pad because it is so important once you're stamping and you do not want to not have the ink refill. Okay, there, we're going to work on that one and we'll just put this one aside. And um, I've already got a little pumpkin die cut right there. Or I haven't, and, uh, but I think we're going to put some washi tape on first. So what we'll do is this washi tape, uh, let's see, I didn't, I don't have, the, it comes in black and purple Highland Heather. This is like a pear pizzazz. I'm going to put it right along the bottom because I just think it's so pretty. Um, on this card, I don't especially like it right here. I, that's not my favorite at all, lining, but you can. That's that wreath we did last week. Anyway, I'm going to trim this now again from the back. Just like that. And we'll stick our, put some, put our ribbon through. And I've just cut a chunk of ribbon. Oops, I turned the light off here. And looks like we've got a little bit of tape. I usually just pull that off, but I'm going to just snip it because 
or on camera. So I'm going to put this in half. I'm going to just, I'm going to put it through here like this. And I usually like to put it through the front. So I'm going to just sort of, this is hard to see, I know. I'm going to just poke it through with my piercer like this. I don't want to, what I don't want to do is break that circle. There we go. That's a half hitch, I think it's called. And then I'm going to put this through like that. And then I'm going to I'm going to hold it and tug it. I think I'll just do it one at a time because I don't want to break that. There we go. Have a nice there, nice loop like that. Can you see that? Okay, and then we'll snip that off. We'll keep it a little bit long, but not too like that. This is my. I little snips with a uh, little jewelry. Got that from a, um, during COVID, we had a, a center stage, which is for leaders. And uh, that was a gift um, that Stamping Up gave us. I really like it. I keep it. I like to keep my scissors. I'm very particular about my scissors. I like to keep certain scissors for um, fabric, like ribbons, and then other scissors. I, I put a ribbon like around, like my big scissors, it's like this with a charm. This is from a long time ago. Love these scissors. I stamping up sold these about eight years ago. I loved it. I wish I would come back and bring those back again, but they haven't. Um, but any good sewer, sewing scissors I, is good, I think. And, um, and then put some ribbon around it so you don't use it for paper because paper is very very dulling to, um, hey, Linda, good to see you this morning. I'm going to put this, um, I don't want those leaves to, I'm going to put them just like that. And then I'm going to put this on here like that. And we're going to pop that up, I think, with a little dimensional to cut that one. And uh, just a, I love these dimensional sheets. You've heard me say that before. Just take one and Cut it into different sizes. I have a whole bowl of them like this. I just cut a bunch yesterday. This is my whole little dish because they're fast. Um, so I just keep that right next to my work tray. We're going to put it like this. And then we're going to take our um, card base. This is the one that was five and a half by eight and a half. We're just going to put it on like that. I can see a little snip right there. And we're going to... I don't know about you, but I'm really not ready for fall or winter. I feel like we've just had summer. We had such a late start here in Montana. And then I was had COVID and I was sick for a good deal of the summer. Couldn't go anywhere. Now I can finally go places. Next week I'm going to New Orleans for a leadership event for stamping up. I'm really excited. Leave next Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here's our card, happy birthday. And then you could stamp something on the inside. I don't have anything. Uh, prepared for that but um and then I also would have you know another two pieces to make the other card so here's the one I did ahead of time and here's the one from today and that is all done isn't that sweet this one has the washi tape I love that little bit of washi on there I think that's great these little pumpkins are all just fussy cut so we'll put that one aside and let me get my ribbon. My ribbon's coming undone. And let's see once what we have next. Okay, the next one is um, this card. <clears throat> Wishing you the loveliest day. Um, okay, let's see once here. And <clears throat> this paper, I'm just going to bring you this, bring out this little piece, but there's a big 12 by 12 sheet that looks like this, and you can cut it into six pieces and stamp and emboss on it and make six cards in probably half hour. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how this, this one works. Now this one I cut the first time I made it. We're gonna see if we can cut it differently today. So we're gonna do that um, first. So get your, we're gonna get a piece of, four inches by four inches again four by four here is our piece let me see once i think i had this on for a reason 
It had a little arrow right there. Um, so we have a, I totally forgot to mark any of these. Um, we have a piece of black. This is black and, and espresso, but it would be like this, but we're going to cut it in half. So we have a piece of folding card, side folding, five and a half by eight and a half. Then we have a piece of white that is four by five and a quarter. Actually, we have, we have, and then we have a piece of, for the inside. Um, what we're going to do is bring in our trimmer again. I always like to have the workspace on your left side. You want to open up your arm. This magnet trimmer, um, you always want to open from the top or the bottom. You don't want to open from the middle because there's, there's a magnet holding that shut. A lot of people sort of forget that. So I am going to, again, I'm going to turn this. There's the number one. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Hey, Patty, good to see you this morning. So some of you might want to cut along with me. There's the one. We're going to mark it at one. And there's the other one down here at one. I'm just going to cut that in half. Okay. And now we're going to put this together. And then I have a piece of one inch by whatever, six inches or something. So this is what we're going to do on this one. Um, we're going to put it together like this. Just like this one's going to be a vertical. The other one was horizontal. So I'm going to again do the same thing I did before. Bring in my little silicone mat. Now I can probably zoom out a little bit there. Okay, put, put our adhesive on this. This one, I only used one pattern. I didn't, you know, flip it over or anything like that. But you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to do the other side, same way. Whenever you use a silicone mat, like you saw that I went off the edge, that adhesive will not stick to that. That's why you like that. I hate having, I cannot stand having grid paper sticky. So I want to get that all lined up. And there it is. And now we're going to put this piece on like that. Or you could, we could do it like that. Let's see once. Or the green one. What do you think? Cajun or olive? Which one do you like better? Cajun and olive. And on this one, let's see once. I am going to... I'm going to bring in my little tiny trimmer. Why don't you vote on that Cajun or I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit. Because I can see a little bit of a white edge. Okay. Oops, this is a cutter from a few years ago during celebration. It's going to cut that one down a little bit too. You can just trim them if you want. Sometimes you can put a mat on them. It's really pretty with a mat. Um, it, it takes an extra sheet of paper. And let's see, let's put that away for a second. I'll show you what that looks like with an extra mat here. Since I cut that one down. Whoops. Let's see if I can find an extra mat here. I usually keep some right above. There's one. So now we could put it like this. Oh, that's not, I didn't cut it enough. So we won't. What did you say? Olive, olive. They both look good. Oh, okay, we'll do olive. We're going to do olive, I think. And we'll put it like this. Just give it a little adhesive right there. And put it nice and straight. Trim it off with your snips. Like this, from the back always. There we go. Okay, and there it is. Looks good already. And now we have to put in... Um, and so we're going to put it on our card like this. Just like that. We'll just... Okay, I'm using seal. And I'm going to just give it a nice little press down like that. Isn't that nice? And now all we have to do is put a sentiment on this. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, this is the one I did. 
We did um, wishing you the loveliest day. That's in this in this set, and I have uh, my stamparatus here because I I would rather bring the stamparatus in and show you this technique. I've shown it before, but I love doing it. It's so easy to die cut many pieces of of dies when you're working. If you're only going to do one card, I wouldn't do this. I would just stamp, and then I would. Um, I would stamp and then I would die cut. But this is the way I like to do it a lot of times because um, it just works so well. Especially if I'm having a class where I'm doing a swap. I like to put my uh, a case underneath it so nice and stable so that I can ink it up. Now watch what I did. So here's my, here's I cut this one out. And uh, so you put your your template. I want to save this. I always save my templates. And then you're going to just put your, your what I did, I'll show you how I did this. I take my, my stamp and I can actually feel it in there. So I can feel it. Okay, then I'm going to close it up and that's going to make it stick. Now let's test it by putting it back in place. And that's going to tell us, hmm, I don't think I have my black. Let me see once. Where? I thought I had it. Um, oh, there it is, right there. Right there in the tray with the stamps. We'll get my black. We're going to ink it up. The beauty of this is you can, if you want something darker, you can make it darker. Let's, whoops. See if that's going to, how that's going to stamp. And it looks pretty good. It maybe could go up a tad bit higher, but I think it, it's going to be okay. We'll just do it like that. So now I can put this one in like that. Stamp it up again. Ink it up. And there it is. Let's say it wasn't dark enough. I'll do that in the next one. I'll show you. And let's just say you, 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 whoops, a daisy, that one's. Now I've got black on my hands again. This is sort of a problem. Um. I will flip that over. They're both, they're completely symmetrical. So that will work like that, it's upside down. Let's say I inked it and I didn't ink it very well. I can press down. Oh, it's not very dark, is it? So let's ink it up again. The beauty is that that magnet's holding it in place. And there we have it. And that's the one we'll use today. So, and then you can just bring in your your chamois. And I just take my chamois out and I actually just, I like to clean it. It looks really dirty, doesn't it? It's really, it's really clean, it runs clear. So then you just take it off and um, you put it back in your, your case. And I'm gonna take my template and do the same thing. So I, I will keep it in here Oops, some of my things have stuck. So I'm going to put it back in here, and I'm going to keep my my template. So the next time I, I want to stamp, I'll have it. I like to do it that way just because um, you can, it's so much easier. You can cut white paper two thicknesses, and it's fast that way. And I'm always doing several cards. So let's put this on now. And um, here is our little piece. Now there's maybe a little bit of white up there. I should have moved it up a little bit, but we're going to put some ribbon on again, some more of that um, ribbon. Except that where did I put that ribbon? There it is. Okay. I'm going to just cut off a piece of it because it's in there. And so this is what we do. We're going to put a bunch of, a bunch, uh, or we're going to, a big quantity of dimensionals on our, what happened to all my dimensionals? I don't know. I thought I had a whole brand new sheet here someplace. Oh, there they are. I think we'll use these because we, we're going to use a lot of, I don't want to really use the edges on these, but we're going to put, oh, like probably six or so on this. And um, I don't think you can ever have enough dimensionals with this technique. So we're going to put that on like this. 
just lots of them because the, these dimensionals are going to hold um, do one more right there. Okay, and now take our pick. Where did I put my take your pick tool here? I, I'm really, when I'm stamping by myself, I'm good about putting each of my tools back in its case right after I do it. But when I'm doing it on camera, that doesn't, it's harder to do that for some reason because you want to, you're trying to go along fast. Um, now I'm going to peel these all off. Some of them are overlapping. That's why they won't come off. You want to keep it down like low like that. Okay, and this one I can't get, I cannot get it off at all. Um, it's on there so well. Now it's on my thumb, but let's see, what, what kinds of things on here. And that one I just cannot get off at all. Let's see if we can cut it. It's, it's stuck on there with another dimensional. That's the reason for that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loop this around. What I want to do is I'm going to loop it around my fingers like this. So I open my fingers wide. And then I've got this three thicknesses. I'm going to slide it off like that. So it's like a big bow. And I'm going to just press it on there like that and sort of let it slide down. So it looks like this. Can you see that? And now I'm going to just flip it over. That maybe was, I didn't probably need to do three, but so I'm going to pull it like this and this is going to open up. So now you can adjust those like that. And then we'll give this a little snip like that. And we need a few gems on there and let's get out. There's a, these are really terrific in the catalog. These are the, the leaves and the amber. This amber color is gorgeous. Um, this one I took, you can see how I embossed it with the leaf dye. They're plain, you can write on them. Um, anyway, we're just gonna use the gems on these. And I think maybe I forgot the gems on the last card, but we will. I can always add those be take, before I take photos. I think when I finish the video today, um, put one there, one up, maybe one up here, right there, and then one right there on the black. Oh, no, I don't like that. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take this one off and move it, move it right by the butterfly, right there. And there we go. And there is our card. Wishing you the loveliest day. I should have only used two loops of, of the um, green, the olive green. I think that's maybe what I did on this one. But anyway, you got the point. You, you could see what I was doing. And those are the two cards. One is vertical and one is horizontal. And now let's see once. We're going to do one more card. Let me pick these things up. Get these out of the way. And we will come in and do a Christmas card now. I have some, I have the silver thread all over. I don't know where it's coming from. This is the card we're going to do. It's a candy cane. I really like it a lot. It's, it was fun to do. And uh, let's see what's, oh, here are the, um, here are the other colors. What did, I don't know what that came from. I missed, I found some things that I maybe was supposed to be another card. So it's black, uh, purple, orange, and then it has that green that I used. But there it is. So it's very nice. I love it for a little trim. We haven't had washi tape for a long time. So we're going to have a little uh, strip of designer paper. And I am using the uh, candy cane paper. This is called Sweetest Christmas. It's neat. It um, And I didn't even get this for a long time. This I just really got this about a week ago. So um, I didn't think I needed it, but I really love it a lot. Love the pool party in there too. With This is Garden Green and Real Red and Pool Party. 
And I think it has a little bit of sweet sorbet too. Uh, yeah, it does. And the stamps that we're using are these. Uh, the sweet candy canes. And these are the dies. And the cool thing about this, I'm going to show you how these dies work. So I, I pulled out the big sheet of candy canes. And look at this. You would just take your dies and they just fit. You can just die, die cut like that. Or you can fussy cut them if you want. So they one goes one way and one goes the other. So you can die cut them at the same time, just like that. And then this... Um, this is a magnet sheet that I, you can either get like at Home Depot or Lowe's or something and just cut the size. Or Stampin' Storage has them too in different sizes. This is the white piece that I used and I used the leaves. I cut out leaves with the red glitter and this white piece is from, I love this part. This is designed to go through um, it, it makes big holes and then you can slide a candy cane through. So I cut it out of white and um, let me see, I'll show you. Oh, this is a card I made. Oh, I'll never make one of these again. It was really hard. It was hard for me to follow. It was someone else's directions in a triad class. It was really, I love the card. Um, Sherry Strykovich in Indiana. Um, and it was her directions, and I, but it was my first time to have all these folds. But anyway, I love this design like this. And um, isn't that neat? So, that's probably the only card like that that I'll ever make because it was a, a challenge and I don't really, it was, it was fun, but very time consuming and I would rather make car, many cards fast. That is my theory. So, okay, here we have, here we go. A strip that, this one is not one inch. I just cut, um, this one is a half inch, but it doesn't make any difference. You can do anything you want. And let's see, let's, let's get our pieces out. And this one, we're going to get all kinds of things here. This one looks like I already have cut it. But you remember how we do that. Um, let me see what's here if I did. I can't believe I did. Anyway, so I have, I took so this is going to be the reverse. So I took two sheets of the, this is from the cottage gingham, and this is the red glitter. The red and white come in a little package. Um, let me see if I have it. Well, I thought I did. Here it is. And it comes like this. It is real red and white, six by six glimmer. And it's wonderful. It doesn't, um, you get quite a few sheets. You get eight, and it's not expensive, so. It's really nice. I like that six by six size. So we are going to take our card and we're going to take, we're going to do it on, on red this time. This is four inches by five and a fourth. We're going to glue it on. We're going to have the red glitter at the top. Put it like this. Again, if you are, if you're just starting to do this tech, whoops, see there it's crooked. So I don't, you know, it's not, not going to look good if it's crooked. So I'm going to lift it up. You can do that with the seal if you lift it quickly enough. But I'm going to slide that over. If you're using Tombow, you would never, you just have that wiggle room built in. But that worked. So this, we have to, we have to use it this way. We can't turn it over. Um because it would not work. So to create this diagonal, I love this technique. I think it's a good one if you're making swaps and you need a lot of cards. I've not made my swap cards yet for my going to, um, my, it's called Backstage when we go to New Orleans next week, but I, I'm going to make some of these and, um, and I have some gnome cards that I'm going to do. So this is going to go on right here and I'm just going to pull that across like that. Anyway, I think they're fast 
It doesn't use up all your paper, your designer paper. You're only using four by four. So we're going to give that a little snip. Just like this. I have not seen one comment here. So um, it is really... Oh, thanks, Cindy. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Thank you for the Get Well card, too. I just got that. It's right behind me, actually, Pose standing up. Um, appreciate that. I, I don't know who else I've missed now here. Um, so, hey, I'm just glad you all found us this morning. There we have our card. And let's stick it on our our base. Let's see if I can find my base. Where is it? Let's see, here it is. Things sort of disappear on the table. Whoops, that's not a base. Let's see once. Those are all, um, here's, here's a card base. Um, things can really get to be a mess. They can be nice and neat when you're starting. And then all of a sudden, it just gets, you're sort of creating quickly, and it just gets to be a mess. But that's just the way it is. And then it gets all cleaned up. When the when the video's finished, I will film all these. I'll give, do a picture, shoot a photograph, and, um, and then, so I'm going to set this aside now and bring out the other little components that we have. We don't have any stamping on this, but I have these die cut pieces. We're going to have some stamping on the inside. I'm going to have all these pieces that I'm going to bring out. And I cut some candy canes like this. And I think we're going to, we're not going to use this one, but we could. I'm going to use two of them like this. And what we're going to do, this is the piece that I think is so cool. So a candy cane, whoop, there we go. This candy cane would just fit through like a pen, you know, like this pen. Oh, that's not going to work. Let me see once. If I can do a pencil, I'll do a pencil like this. There you go. You can see how that would slip. A candy cane would slip in there like that. Probably a little hard to find a candy cane this time of year. But you know how we are crafters. We have to think ahead and do things ahead. So I'm going to put my um, candy canes on. I want them to, to cross like that. So I'm going to cross them. Just take my adhesive and put a little right there and I'm going to just put them like that and then I am going to take lots of glue dots and I, my glue dots are right here and I'm almost out of them I have another box sitting right here but I'm just going to put a bunch of glue dots on there glue dots work really well with glitter paper I think um I'm going to use a lot of them I am, you know, I am, I am not someone who's conservative about adhesive. So I want to get, I want those to stick. So I'm going to set those aside, and I'm going to put this on like this. So it's going to have a lot of little glue dots, and that's really going to hold that nicely, like just like that. And now we are going to uh, let's see once we're going to put our, we're going to put a ribbon in. This ribbon is uh, this one's a different one. This one comes in another pack, the Christmas catalog. Uh, it's red, it's garden green and and real red. It's a two pack. I think you get five yards on each one. And um, so now we're gonna stick our ribbon in. We're gonna go down here like this and come up the other side. Nice big holes that we, we don't struggle with. Okay, and uh, See once here if I can zoom in a little bit. Oh, I can't zoom. I can't seem to get zoomed in. Well, we'll just leave it because I don't want to cause a problem of some kind. Just get that nice because we're going to tie a nice little bow there. And now we're going to take our glitter. Aren't these pretty? They look like little oak leaves, maybe, or I don't know what they are. Holly leaves, maybe, or something. And um, we're going to just take some glue dots again. And we're going to put those stems on. I think we're going to have to throw this one away finally. I'm going to just stick that on there, like one going up and the other one going down. I look, This is an old set of, I still had a few things of glue dots. So these were, glue dots are on top like this. I'm going to throw that away now. 
and here's my other box, my new box. And um, look at this. So now they're in here. So this is what the glue dots look like. Now they're on the inside. And I don't know if you can see that. I don't like them that way. But some people I know have rewound it. Um, and I'm just going to put it right in there. And I can throw that away. Now we're going to tie this. I'm going to, whoops, that one didn't stick, did it? Let's see. Put, oh, maybe I, I'll have to get another glue dot and put it on there. There we go. Now we've got some glue dots on there. And we will tie this up. I'm going to check and see if we have some comments coming. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you so much. Um, we're going to give this a tie. I'm trying to get the... Okay. And it's going to tie it in a knot because I, it's hard to do this on the cam with the camera filming. I, there we go. So you could you don't have to do a bow, but I think I can. We're gonna tie that. It's easier we can have a knot down there. Okay, and now we can just pull that. We're gonna hold it the knot in the middle and pull, make it a little smaller, hold the knot in the middle, and get the tails. Here we go. Make them a little a little bit smaller. Oh, I don't know. We'll just leave it like that, I think, and give it a snip. And then we'll bring in our card base. And it's going to go on just like this. I'm going to put some adhesive on that. Like that. Oh, I can see some adhesive right down here. Don't want that on there. So we're gonna put it like this. So there's no stamping on the outside of that one, but on the inside we can stamp something. And we'll stamp, um, I think we'll stamp with some red, real red. And we'll do merry and bright. These are red rubber stamps, so we don't need to have um, a foam mat underneath. I'll just put my silicone mat so you can see it better. So we're going to get, what's oh, Cajun craze? That's not red. We're going to get real red. And it's the merriest and brightest. Just like that. And there we have it. And our card is finished. So we have created quite a few cards today. Um, let's see once. We've done that one, and we've done, let's see what else, we've done this one, and we've done one more too, but where is it, I don't know, let's see once here, I don't know, I can't find the other one all of a sudden, but we did, we did three cards in very little time, so this one probably could use some gems, um, but you don't have to, that red glitter is almost enough by itself, so, um, there we have it. And we can turn the camera. Oh, I, thank you so much, Jan. I appreciate that. Um, the can I, You need the candy canes now? Yeah. That's, that, that's the way it goes, doesn't it? I saw someone else's candy canes, too, and uh, I thought it was pretty neat. Um, my bangs need to be cut. Um, here we go. I do have a hair appointment fr on Friday, so I will be getting my, my hair cut. And there you go. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you for all the well wishes, too, for myself and for my mom. She's doing a little better. She's still struggling. She still has to wear a big compression bandage around her forehead. Her stitches are healing, though, um, and she still, um, she's really been sort of struggling um, going back. She's always been independent, and now she's on assisted living for a few weeks, so she needs the extra help. But she, But thank you for sending cards and well wishes to her. Thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate that. And thanks, Munch. Good. Thank you all so much, girls. I appreciate it. And appreciate you following along. I will see you next Tuesday. Don't forget. Um, don't forget to 
order some of these neat products that are available during celebration. Some of these, um, some of these add-ons. If you already have everything else, that's terrific. If you don't, then get some of these things you don't have. That dots and spots is so cool. I think the next thing to run that's going to be the aspen tree dies. Love that. I think I showed that last week. But there's some really nice, nice items you can get. Um, and don't forget those of you. Um, thank you, Martina. Um, I can't wait for you girls to post them and 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 uh, show me some things that you make with these. And those of you who are watching later on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, Please tell us that you're, it's replay or be sure you click, ring the bell, join, do all those things. That helps grow my um, YouTube channel, those of you who are watching. Thank you very much, Kathy. And uh, it helps me grow. And as my grandchildren said, Grandma, you need a thousand people. I only have 614 at this point. So um, they're always keeping track of how many new subscribers that I have. So if you, you haven't subscribed, uh, ring that bell and subscribe so that you'll know when I'm coming to you again or on Facebook. And I do post things on my Crafting Creations by Corinne every day, almost every day. And I will today, I will put the directions for this. I will type them up after I take photos and I'll put that on the Facebook and I'll put it on YouTube. On YouTube, it's underneath on the little arrow on the right-hand side. So that's where you can find those things. Alrighty, girls, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, following along today, and I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.